Hey guys, welcome back to Solid Unboxing. So, as you can see today, we have... Nerd Block. Alright, so... Last time we had a bad run-in with Nerd Block. I don't know if it was classic or sci-fi. It's been almost all of their boxes except for Comic Block. They've been quite disappointing. Uh, I said that weird. <laughs> I said that weird. God. <laughs> kind of disappointing the last couple of boxes. Uh, this is a pretty heavy box though. This is August's box. I didn't think I was going to get this box because I did cancel with them. I already paid for this month. So we did get the box. Let's see if they turn things around. I'm going to put this off to the side. So first item. All right, shirt, shirt. Is this a shirt or... It feels like a shirt. Okay, let you guys see it first. I think it's, is that a shirt punch? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. I saw the tag. The tag shows Labyrinth on it. And yeah, that is David Bowie. What's his name? Jareth. Jareth, right? Jareth. Yes, Jareth. That is who David Bowie plays in The Labyrinth and one of my childhood favorite movies. Love that movie. Um, So I, I like the shirt. I like the shirt. The color tone of it is very um pink and purplish and... Like, Jareth in the movie was very pale. He's very pink in this, but I think that's just the, the color scheme. We'll go ahead and put that on. Dance magic. Cue the music. Dance magic, dance, dance magic, dance. That was awesome. I like the shirt. It is, it is very comfortable, by the way. 7.58 out of 10. It's very comfortable. David Bowie. David Bowie just passed away this year. So, of course, I'm going to love it. The colors, they're very pinkish, purplish kind of colors and he was a pretty pale character. So they're doing good so far. Next item. Oh God. Uh, Masters of the Universe. You've got some tiny little figures right here. Muscle, collect all 12. And it looks like we got He-Man, Bird Girl, and some strong dude. Uh, Nerd Block exclusive color variant, but I mean, I'm not a big fan of uh, tiny little toys like this. Like this is something you give like a five-year-old, probably a four-year-old, I don't. Not a good item. Not a good item. Unless you like He-Man. Maybe I'm being biased because I don't watch He-Man a lot. But all right, next item. This feels heavy. I think it's gonna be a mug. Uh, ooh, it's not. Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Oh god. All right. This. Check this out. Lord of the Rings: Eye of Sauron snow globe. Nerd block exclusive. That looks really sick. Let's take it out. So right there, you have it. It's got the freaking ring. The one ring to rule them all around it. There you go. Mordor just erupted. And the embers are falling to the ground. And then you got the eye right in the middle. This is really cool. I like this a lot. I'm I'm very happy this did not break in the box. Um, That is... That's really nice. Check that out. That is a really nice item. This is one of the nicest items I've gotten. Nerd block. Good job. That might have just made the whole box good. We'll see. We'll see what other items they have though. All right. So next in the box we got right here. Back to the future. This is a um a luggage tag. So right here you have a luggage tag. On the back right there you can see where you put your name, address, phone number, all of that good stuff. And it's actually very thick and good quality. That's a really nice item too. I actually like that. This is very handy. I actually have a uh, a luggage tag from one of my other boxes. It's like a Harry Potter nine and three quarters, but that's really cool. That'll probably go on one of my other bags. There's a big book. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. Bart Simpson's Manual of Mischief. Oh, it's got a cover on it too. So right here in the front, you have an envelope that opens up. The envelope came these right here, and these look like stickers. Boom. A boom. And this looks like, what is this? This is a poster? The Prankster's Crest. You got that right there. And on the back, the family. These books are pretty uh, pretty detailed. And there's a lot to do on, on a bunch of the pages, as you can see. Pretty cool book. It's not a nerd block exclusive. It says $25. $24.99 is the retail value for this. Pretty good, especially if you're a Simpsons fan. Probably really good. This box has quite a bit of value right now. Let's see what else? You have a poster right here. It's actually, there's a lot of characters from Ghostbusters on there. So that's a pretty cool art print, especially if you're a Ghostbusters fan. So 
the item is not bad. It's a, it's a pretty good size and very detailed. Again, you can get a salad, $50 off some salads. They do have a new box. It is, it's shirt block. You get five exclusive shirts every month for $29.99, but it's supposed to be over $100 value. I don't know if this is gonna follow a theme, but that actually sounds very interesting. I, I, I think I might subscribe to that. I think I will subscribe to that. So next month you have a colossal exclusive from Attack on Titan. That's pretty cool. And then Batman the Animated Series or Batman the New Adventures, Star Trek and freaking Ghostbusters again for the ninth month in a row. Now, it's been like four or five months in a row though with Ghostbusters, so kind of tired of the Ghostbusters stuff. Like, I, don't, I don't know why. We're gonna talk about these items and get a price. Yeah, this shirt, I would give it, I'd give it the max $15 for this shirt. Really like it, good quality, like the design, really good shirt. I like it. This luggage tag right here, I pay like $6, paid $6 for this. These figures right here, I'm gonna give a dollar. The book retail on the back, it says $24.99, but I'm gonna give it 20. The exclusive Ghostbusters poster, I give $5. The snow globe, my favorite item in the box, hands down. This thing is beautiful. I would pay 15 to $25 for this. In that range, easily I would pay for this. I'm gonna give this $20 because I love it. This is amazing. In the end, guys, I got $67 for the total amount of everything in here. I'd say anywhere from $50 to $75 for everything in this box, which is really good because you pay about $30. I'd have to say overall, this was actually a pretty good box. It was it was pretty good. Um, uh, The He-Man item, least favorite item in the box. Favorite item in the box. Uh, everything else was okay. I really like the shirt, but that's because I'm a Labyrinth fan. All right, so I want to know what you guys thought about everything in this box. What was your favorite item? What was your least favorite? And overall, what did you guys think? Do you think they made a comeback? If you guys liked the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Uh, that's it? Okay. Wow. Hmm. <clears throat> so some things are permanent like the ink that's on my skin. How could I forget the places that